Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I just want to briefly kind of go into um, the end of the module one for the Microsoft Security SC200 exam um, that we're diving into. Obviously, we're trying to hit this one in 30 days. Um, I want to see this investigate security incident together and kind of show you guys what it's like. But I also want to kind of tell you more about what's to come on the channel. A lot of people over the last couple of days and weeks have asked me about was like being, you know, working for a Microsoft partner. And so we're going to have a, a series all about the Microsoft partnership, what it's like to work for a partner and how you can get into it. So I'm excited to start that series up here in a little bit. But first, let's dive in because I'm on a short time frame. So um, let's dive in to see what launch investigate security incident looks like. So we have an interactive guide which basically detect and respond to modern attacks with unified SIM and XDR capabilities. In this interactive guide, you'll learn, you'll see how a unified, so in this interactive guide, what does a unified you'll experience see how look a unified like? SIM and XDR experience makes it possible to automate threat investigation. We'll learn more about automating threat investigations, closing critical gaps, and empowering rapid response. So through this, right, so we have an overview of Azure Sentinel going on, right? So Azure Sentinel is a piece of the Microsoft stack inside of Azure. And so it wants us to click on incidents, right? So in here, we have three open incidents. We have a dashboard showing us the incidents, new incidents and active, right? We also have classification and some incident IDs going on. It wants us to click on the high incident, which is potential malware uploaded to a storage blob, right? And so we're gonna click on the investigate in Azure Defender some of these names have changed. So now they call a lot Microsoft Defender for Cloud, et cetera. Some of the guides you'll learn through the Microsoft Learn are a little outdated because Microsoft changes names, unfortunately, very frequently. So the, the blades are usually in the same areas, just with name changes. So going through this, we can see that it's a security alert for a potential malware uploaded to a storage blob. It's a high severity. It's an active status. We have the activity time of it an alert description. So someone has uploaded potential malware to your Azure storage account and gives us the account name Contoso Online Storage, right? An affected resource, Contoso Online Storage, and a Visual Studio Enterprise subscription. It also gives you the MITRE attack tactics. It gives you some alert detail, right? So we have Azure AD user not, there's no user needed. It's just a service blob. It, the user agent came from an Ubuntu Linux box. It's a put blob was operation type. And so we can actually click here to expand some resource activity. So we can see the resource ID, the subscription ID, the file that was uploaded, right? So we can see that it's got hash, what the hash was, what the executable was. We can see what the malware entity was. And so we can see that it's Windows 64 bit malware generated. Um, and we can also take actions right there. So we can do a take action, right? So we can click or tap the link, right? So we have three options. So we can either storage account should be using a private link for connection. Storage accounts should restrict network access using virtual network rules. Storage account public access should be disallowed. All right, so we can actually see right in here we have the action and remediation to take. We can look at the remediation steps and we can even follow the quick fix logic, right? So fix the unhealthy, right? So we can follow the quick fix logic properties. We see the parameters, a JSON script pops out and it says properties allow public blob access change the true to false. We can close it and we're gonna fix it, right? So we can fix the resource. The resource becomes fixed. We successfully remediate. We can close the browser tab and then we can investigate in Azure Defender again. We can actually zoom in and we can see everywhere that it went, right? So we can see the exfiltration. We can see the different hashes, the linked malicious file, etc. And so we can actually click the links, the malicious storage artifacts, right? So we can see. 
the system, the tactics. We can see the IP address, right? And so we can actually view another playbook, right? So we can see the enterprise graph. We can see Visual Studio Enterprise Subscription. And then we click Run the Playbook. And then we can click back into Sentinel. And so now what it's having us do is it's having us change the owner of an incident. And so we can assign to me, we can hit apply, and now we can investigate in Microsoft 365 Defender. So we're going to cross the incident plane into the different Microsoft 365 Defender blade. We can click manage incident. You can see who it's assigned to. We can click on cancel. It wants us to do alerts. We can open the alerts and see the drop down. We can see office application ran into suspicious commands. You can even see what those commands are, right? Suspicious PowerShell command, suspicious behavior by Microsoft, right? So we can actually click or tap to close the navigation plane so we can expand it. And so we can see that command.exe created x.exe. Right, so you can see all the different along with timestamps of when this happened. You can see the correlation. You can see the user, Gemma Green. You can see the IP that was referenced. So we can close the browser and go back to Sentinel. And you can actually zoom in and see the multi-stage incident, right? So we can zoom in, right? And we can see a little bit of the chaos that happened on this machine, right? So we can see, hey, we have suspicious access to all these different PowerShell. Like this thing went crazy on this computer for this user, right? So a multi-stage incident, right? We can go over here. We can see the linked malicious and where all it went from IP address, right? We went out to this IP and went to blob storage right so and the cool thing is is in this story it actually goes through and describes everything for you right and it's telling you exactly what happened so i definitely recommend coming and listening to this yourself because they're giving you great feedback and um kind of explaining everything that went on from steps of the attackers All right and then it gives us the resources right so it gives us hey what is azure sentinel also known as microsoft sentinel now and then it gives us the resources for website security, integrated threat protection, Azure Defender, also known as Microsoft Defender for cloud now. Um, and so that's the interactive guide, but that's the main reason I wanted to show you guys that piece is what is really super important to understand how to investigate security incidences, incidents in not only Microsoft Sentinel, but across the Microsoft 365 Defender. So we can continue, do a quick knowledge check, right? So which Microsoft 365 Defender solution can detect an Active Directory domain compromise through the Microsoft Defender for Identity? Which Microsoft 365 Defender solution can detect a phishing email through the Microsoft Defender for Office 365? So Defender for Identity is for on-premise, right? So that's your Active Directory domain services. Defender for Office 365 is anything that is in the Office 365 um, service space so you have exchange online sharepoint teams onedrive etc and then which microsoft 365 defender solution can detect a malware installation right so that's an install so it's gonna be defender for endpoint sweet so now we went through the module we can go back to learning path history and see how far i've made it um, so we went through the introduction we did not go through the mitigate threats yet right so we're gonna go through that we're going to go through pieces of this we'll all go through through that later and i'll have an upload of that over to medium later tonight but thank you guys again for being along and until next time